Good morning, since I got in late last night on my flight, well, not really late, but by the time I got to my hostel, it was definitely after dark. I'm gonna go out and explore Osaka today since I really just have today before I catch the bullet train to Hiroshima tomorrow. So, I'm gonna, first of all, I'm gonna go to the Osaka Castle, check that out, and then uh, I've been looking online doing some itinerary work, and I think I'm just gonna follow a pre-guided self-tour to get the most out of it since I don't really know where I'm going here. Alright, so I went ahead and grabbed a 30,000 yen, which is about 300 US dollar, and that should last me for the next few days at least, hopefully. Even though Japan is a little bit more expensive than most places I've been. It's like being back in Western Europe again. So this time I went with a little something different, uh, still the rice, but it had uh, a little bit of pork belly on top and the same soup as a side. But uh, I actually got to show you how the machines work this time because I knew how to run them. Oh, and I also forgot to add the tea in there is excellent. say since I'm much farther north now than I was before that the weather is so much more tolerable it's more what I'm used to so as you can probably see behind me I'm going to the castle which is right over here that guy right there is just holding a shield so that the debris doesn't come flying into the public Thank you. So for my second step of the day, I came to Shi Jinoji Temple. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but um, it's one of the prominent Buddhist temples here in Osaka. So I thought I'd just come and wander around for a little while since it's free. 
Well, I guess what you read on the internet is not always correct because it was 300 yen to get in here, which is only three dollars. So it's not terrible, but still not free. So for my last main place of the day, I came to the Sumiyoshi Tiasha uh, Shrine here, which is a Shinto shrine, and I'm just going to walk around the park and kind of uh, take it all in. So right on time today, my J-Rail pass came, but I have to go activate it at the nearest station, so that's what I'm gonna go do now. Hello. Do you have an exchange? Okay, you have a passport. I need your passport. I have a copy of it. No, 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 no copy. All that for nothing, I forgot my passport back at the hostel, so I'm gonna have to do it tomorrow morning before I actually wanna take the train to Hiroshima. All right, so since that didn't work out, I'm gonna head back to the hostel and uh, figure out a nice sushi place to go to and do a little relaxing because I'm exhausted. So there's a rock climbing wall just chilling out on a building. If you love these guys, <laughs> That's okay, because they make me sound infinitely more knowledgeable than I otherwise would. <laughs> huh? So we've finally decided on a restaurant here and you have to lock your shoes in. This, this is our view? Alright. We do get a view of the river. So we came here to this restaurant and ordered um, some horse sashimi. Yeah, and this right here is fermented um, potato? Sweet potato. Fermented sweet potato. Not actually that bad. You like it? 25%. Yeah. What, what the darkness of the horse meat is astounding. Wait, 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 wait. Let, me pick, let me just pick up this chunk here. Uh, for the sheer thickness of that. <laughs> That's pretty aggressive, eh? Like, <laughs> he hasn't instructed which sauce goes with the here. Yeah. Alright, let's go for it. Can't, can't take this one around. Just for that warm meat. Like, how would you eat that? <laughs> <laughs> but it's similar to like tuna or, or like salmon sashimi. Yeah, I don't know. 
All right, so I'm gonna now try the uh, the raw horse, whatever this is. Yeah, can't say I'm really excited about it. Up. Yeah. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's huge, like it's unnecessarily big. So when the check came for that meal, there was a bunch of charges that we hadn't agreed to or even known about. So right now we've spent the last 15 minutes debating back and forth with our server how much we should actually pay. It's four five. It's four, four five. five. And the original bill was six something. Six five. Yeah. So we're gonna get it down by like 20 bucks hopefully because there's just some ridiculous charges in here. Probably brought about four receipts at this point and has ran back to uh, the station to print off another one and the language barrier is not helping us at all. We don't really understand her that much. We're pointing at pictures and numbers and she's doing the same. Six, four, one, six. So six, four, one, six. Yeah, six, four, six. Oh, close enough. Six, four, six, one. Take, we don't agree with this service charge. Yeah. So take one, one, six, six seven. seven. Yeah. Equals that. Yeah. Times, we got a 15% discount. Yeah, we were, everything we were told 15%. Yeah. Times 0 0.85 equals. And that's what we have here. 1 a.m. in the morning in a family mart. Just us. So we finally got our check down to what we thought it should be after our calculations and now we're just uh, walking around in the rain to get back because the last train left I don't know, probably an hour ago, it's about 1.30 in the morning and we found these nice plastic umbrellas. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking and subscribing below for all of the newest content. It does help me out. And remember, you don't have to spend a fortune to have an adventure.